Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Balsamic Moon Tarot. And, um, hi. <laughs> I'm going to do a pick a card reading. It's also a pick an object reading. So I have three uh, stones, crystals here. I have lapis lazuli and ammonite, an ammonite fossil as well as prenite here. If you would rather choose by the crystal, this is your chance to take a look at these. Beautiful lapis lazuli. Probably hearing a thunderstorm outside. There's a summer storm happening now. Here's the ammonite. So cool. And you might also be hearing someone meowing. That's a little furry creature called Pookie. <laughs> She's very chatty. So here's the prenite. So feel free to pick a pile based on those three stones. If you want to pick a pile based on a card, I have the visionary I Ching oracle cards here. We have hexagram 19, the approach of spring, hexagram 32, endurance, and hexagram 2, receptive power. Lovely. So these are the three options. Feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp that corresponds to your reading, and I will see you at your reading. Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your reading on this stormy summer day. You can probably hear the rain outside my window as well as the um, thunder. So, I think it's an interesting day to do a reading here for you. So let's see what comes through. I've already shuffled and selected some cards. We're going to start with Oracle cards. You selected Hexagram 19 from the I Ching, The Approach of Spring. With the Lapis Lazuli stone there, crystal. So, let's see, we have Squaring the circle. We have twin. Oracle card 57. We have spirits to guide you. Oracle card 70. And we have the five of wands. Tarot card. As well as the sun, beautiful, as well as the ace of cups, lovely. As well as the seven of pentacles, okay. So, this is what we're starting with. And I can clarify as needed. Okay, the approach of spring for pile one. Hmm. Okay, pile one, your message today. here with the twin we have opposites attract energy because it's two people but there is a blue and red and there is a crescent shape like a moon one facing you know facing in different directions so this is sort of a yin and yang polar opposites attract type of twin energy spirits to guide you shows a doorway or a, a door and there are hands on the other side. 
Interesting. It's someone about to open the door and there are hands guiding that person towards that particular door. With the Five of Wands and the Sun here, we really see powerful activation energy. And with the Five of Wands, it's um, some kind of struggle, some kind of conflict or tension that is short-lived. Because ultimately, the assertion of your own individuality will blow any competitors out of the water. So I'm seeing here success, success in being who you are, success in being yourself, success in being your, just your natural self and just not compromising on that, not giving up on, uh, you know, being who you are without apology, rather, is what I'm trying to say. So pile one, I think what is going on right now for you with this message is I think that you have some kind of worry or concern going into a new situation. I feel like maybe you're working with a friend or you have a work colleague and the two of you are going to collaborate on something um, and there's a lot of promise there's a lot of really great potential here for success you're very excited about it but on the other hand you're also a bit worried and concerned because I think you're concerned about a power struggle and I think that the important thing to remember here is how we start something, the intentions we have, the feelings we have about it even, um, have to be treated very seriously. Or, or rather, you know, it's important to examine that. It's important to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally and physically um, as you start this uh, new endeavor, this new project. I think that you really want to succeed in whatever this is, but sometimes you doubt if you have the right intuition about things. Sometimes you're unsure if you should follow your hunches. And I think that the first thing, the first piece of advice is don't be so hard on yourself and you're allowed to make mistakes. So I think the problem is more that you are trying to be a perfectionist and when you don't need, you know, you, that, that, is, that is not the energy you need to start with. The energy that's, that's or tapping into your own joy, tapping into your personal inspiration and joy is the energy that you should focus on. Uh, everything will sort itself out as you tap into your authentic self and you are genuinely inspired and genuinely um, moved to work on this or to move towards this goal. I hope that makes sense. So let me... Which tarot cards do I want to pull? I want to pull more tarot cards from this deck. Let's see what else comes through. What is the advice for pile one here? Page of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I get that. I see it. And the world. How lovely is that? Okay. So let me give you a close up. For advice, you got the Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. And the World, which has all these animals in it. It's a very interesting depiction. I'm sorry, is this having trouble focusing? 
Why? Why does my camera... Sometimes my camera is great at focusing up close and then sometimes it's not, but I guess it has to do with the zoom I'm in. Okay, so um, this, is, this is your advice and it's pretty clear to me. What it's saying is that, again, you know, get things off to a good start and don't be so concerned with getting everything done at once. Really start with bite-sized uh, bite sized goals in a sense like don't bite off more than you can choose start start with small steps start with like small gains small wins and build up from there and be patient because very quickly things are going to integrate and synthesize you know whatever this new project is that you're collaborating on with someone it's going to, you're going to get in sync pretty much off the bat. But it's important to start with that humility and, you know, start with the, um, not the low expectations, but just, just being, um, trying to be focused on being helpful rather than, you know, just being bossy. <laughs> um, don't try to control everything from the beginning, but leave room for some, you know, leave enough room for growth so that you learn as you go, is what I'm trying to say. And we have the world card, so we definitely have success, but we also have a lesson. And um, your success is really dependent on you learning all the lessons down this road learning everything at the right time, not rushing, um, letting things fall into place organically, letting things, waiting for the alignment of, you know, time and resources. Thinking about timing is, is generally what I'm trying to say here. It's like, there are certain things that will not work because it's just the wrong time for it. So really try to think in terms of alignment and um, syncing up because it's that type of, it's that type of, I want to say energy, but it's like, it's that type of um, mindset that's going to really um, help you succeed here. So pile one, that's your message. With the approach of spring, I think that there is something really positive coming your way, and you know you are going, you are very excited about what will come of this. Um, but you know, again, to reiterate, I do, I did see some concerns about this project because you're working with someone, and you know maybe you foresee some kind of power struggle or ego conflict. But those are all pretty much going to be short-lived they're all going to be manageable and what is important is for you to you know be humble allow room for mistakes don't rush the process let things fall into place when the right time comes you know don't rush uh, don't rush any processes don't try to take shortcuts either it's just letting things build up gradually and then as as you get more efficient you'll be able to take on even bigger and more complicated tasks but you definitely have signs of success here with the world and the sun and you also have signs of happiness and and doing something that's very enjoyable and fulfilling here with the ace of cups so pile one that's your message for today um i hope that helps and you know Click the like and subscribe buttons if you uh, thought it was uh, it was relevant for you. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you, Pile One. See you next time. Hi, Pile Two. Welcome to your reading. Uh, we're gonna see what messages are meant for you today. Okay, this is a timeless reading. I want to get these leaves here. I love this plant. So I have already selected and shuffled your, well shuffled and selected your cards here. This is what came out for you today and we'll clarify if needed. So for your oracle cards, 
We have involution. Is that visible here? Sorry that I'm having trouble focusing. Involution. We have the tarot card, Ace of Cups. Lovely. The Seven of Pentacles. Wow. It's amazing that this card is coming up like multiple times from multiple decks today. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Very cool. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have Oracle 63, cast your sacred symbols. Oracle card 34, pink bubble fairy. Wow, Oracle card 76, death of the deceitful. Can you see this? I'm so sorry. This Just focus this like giving me trouble. And we have restlessness already. So let's see. Okay, pile two. Sorry. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, you selected endurance and you selected this ammonite fossil. And the first thing that came to my mind was the fact that this fossil, you know, has survived millennia, right? Um, and how amazing is it that we, that we can view something from the distant past and it's still you know giving us it's still valuable and it's still important to us today okay I think that's much better I ended up just closing my window all the way and now we shouldn't be hearing that car alarm and the rain as well so um I was looking up the guidebook for the modern Nirvana Oracle deck and Involution, the card involution is really important here and a, a big part of the message here with endurance and this ammonite and this even this restlessness card. So let me read this part of it to you. Sorry, let me just see. Evolution is the concept of life undergoing gradual development and growing into something new and can be used as a potent metaphor for our inner and outer journeys. Involution as an esoteric concept can be viewed as the process of integrating the growth of our consciousness in conjunction, in conjunction with the growth of our living universe. What we are thinking about most and how we think about these things will create what we experience and how it affects others. If you hone in on what you attend to, you can experience single point focus and the ability to direct your awareness. This gives you the mental fortitude to complete any task you desire. So if there is something you have left unfinished, now is the time to cultivate this talent and push it through to the finish line. So endurance for sure, right? And also the... The idea of evolution being and, and the growth of your consciousness being in conjunction with the universe. You are experiencing a process right now that is not just reflected in your inner life and in your personal life. You're seeing it everywhere. So you yourself are undergoing something personal, a personal evolution that is being reflected in the world around you. And it's important with the Ace of Cups, right? It's like 
It's important to attend to your inner life and to see that, to understand that your inner, your spirituality is, is what connects you to source. So this Ace of Cups is this reminder that you are always connected to Source and that if you have been kind of neglecting that spirituality or inner life or, you know, the consciousness, right, the, the, um, the inner knowing that you reach when you have times of contemplation, reflection, or... Um, even just solitude like it's important to remember that this is what connects you to source and it's also what helps you manifest um, the growth you seek so with seven of pentacles and knight of pentacles I can see here that you're working you've been working on something for some time and you're really questioning the results you're questioning your whole strategy you have a little bit of self-doubt or just um skepticism I guess about the process um, it's important to have faith it's important to have faith in the process and to trust the process and to trust that the universe does provide with the five of cups and the two of cups this is a very important emphasis on the need to uh, practice gratitude because you might be having a tendency to look at the past and long for the past or long for you know maybe being um, a bit uh, too focused on, 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 on yourself and what you lost, thinking that you lost something that can never be returned. You know, a little bit of self-pity or dramatization of the past. Um, with the Two of Cups here, you definitely have some something special in your life, whether it's a supportive relationship, you know, a best friendship even, a partner. Um, there is something in your life that is beautiful and it helps you tap into that faith, that faith that everything will work out. Um, so, yeah, so there's something that, you know, your guides really don't want you to give up on this. They know that you have worked hard on it and they know that you're really trying, but they want you to understand that this last, it's important not to give up even though you may be doubting your own actions and your own results. It's, it's important to endure. It's important to keep going. Um, you have, in the same way that this ammonite fossil, you know, goes back to the past and it goes back to a time that had no concept of the future. It's like we work on things and we have absolutely no, we just could never possibly know the full extent the full consequences of our actions. And so that's why everything we do should have, you know, the, the, the intention to manifest something good in the world because everything we do does have that effect. Everything we think even and say. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at Pookie. Um, but now I want to talk about the, the last four cards I pulled. Cast your sacred symbols, pink bubble fairy, death of the deceitful and restlessness. So, you know, again, there's a need here to pay attention to your, to your mind, your thoughts, you know, the quality of your thoughts, the quality of your thinking, the quality of your mindset. Have you been a bit negative or cynical or have you been um, a little too rigid even? Have you been thinking something based on a faulty premise? Um, it's important to take ownership over everything in your life and to, you know, practice that gratitude. Remember the miracle of the life of the life. Remember the miracle of life itself and remember that there are miracles happening in your life every day that you may just not be noticing. And it's important to you know really think about the best possible outcome and hold that vision in your mind and and just like this pink bubble fairy trust that there is that your guides or your you know trust that you have um the divine 
supporting you and wanting the best for you and wanting to help you manifest your personal visions. So death of the deceitful relates to, you know, letting go and releasing thoughts that maybe have been implanted in you from people or from situations that were not operating with you know, integrity, right? So it's like someone could have just been spewing hateful comments or lies and you could have internalized that. You know, those those things could have taken root in your psyche. And now is the time to, you know, banish them, banish that type of deceitful thinking. Did you hear the thunder? So, yeah, and then restlessness. It's like something is about to... I think you feel a certain restlessness because you feel like something important is about to happen, but you're not seeing the signs of it yet in your reality. And so you're sort of doubting yourself and maybe, you know, questioning, you know, is it worth going? Is it worth keeping on? Keeping? Uh, is it worth it to keep going? And, and the message here is clear. It is definitely worth it to keep going. You have miracles around the corner. And it's all related to your how you feel inside, your inner life. It all, it's all related to how you personally view the world around you and what you are ready to receive. You know, if you are being receptive and trusting and hopeful, um, then the miracles that are around the corner, you'll be more likely to recognize them. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, Let's go ahead and pull a couple cards here of advice. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, and the Magician. Okay, so, you know, a card of success for sure. And, you know, the ultimate success, the ultimate um, achievement. Um, the Magician and the Fool. So again, exactly what I was saying, you have the ability to manifest your desires, your dreams, but you first, the first step is to have faith. And, you know, if you have lost faith, if you're questioning uh, the outcome here, this is a reminder to go within and examine, you know, what are these uh, negative beliefs or what are these lies that you might be uh, telling yourself and to release them, purge them, you know, confront them and let them go. They are not serving you. With the full card, we see here the receptivity. You know, when you tap into your inner power and your ability to have clear intentions, pure intentions, when you tap into that inner power, inner magic, you are tapping into the universal potential so in other words like the full card here is showing me that there is no limit to what is possible and you just have to remember that and you just have to remember it and know it within yourself um definitely seeing here um tremendous success but it may not be overnight it may take time and it may require your patience but more than your patience it requires your trust it requires your faith okay pile two that's your message for today i wish you the best on you know this journey that you're on and thanks for joining today and i hope to see you at the next reading okay take care pile two hello pile three welcome to your reading um you selected the card Receptive power, hexagram two from the visionary I Ching Oracle. And you also selected the prenite crystal. So I looked up prenite and apparently it could be helpful for lucid dreaming or communication. So I think that you perhaps recently have been getting, you know, messages from your guides, um, like perhaps more messages than usual, more signs. Um, you perhaps have had dreams that have been very powerful and symbolic and um, you feel like uh, something from the divine is reaching, trying to reach you through these dreams. So let's see what the cards show you today with regards to this. 
Hi, Pile 3. I am so sorry, but I just realized that my camera had run out of space as I was videotaping your reading. So I basically got to the end, uh, you know, and realized what, what had happened. So what I'm going to do here is tell you everything I learned. Um, and I'm just going to reverse these cards in the order that I placed them down. And... You know, this was all meant to be, this was all meant to happen <laughs> for some reason, but it's all part of the reading, okay? So let's just start this over. I think the first message, though, is definitely make room, <laughs> right? Like, I think there's probably some baggage in your life, just whether it's psychological, emotional, um, physical, maybe you need to declutter, um, maybe you need to make time maybe there's time you're spending a, a too much time doing something in particular but make room let that be a message so i also so let's start this over when i started your reading um i definitely got the sense that you are receiving a lot of messages now that you are getting you know your intuition is very active right now and it's possible that your dreams are very vivid right now and that even within your dreams you're getting a sense of you know messages coming through from divine sources or from your spiritual guides so this is a time you know all the reading that i did was definitely to the advice to dealing with this because i know it can be very overwhelming so let's see what cards came out for you today we have breath so definitely the importance of you know the taking deep breaths and, and doing all the exercises, doing those, um, doing breathing exercises that help you manage your anxiety and your stress levels. If you can even do that at least three times a day, morning, middle of day and evening, that could be very helpful. So let me just pull the cards out and then I'm gonna read, uh, explain the reading to you, okay? We have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Hanged Man. We have the Emperor. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. We have Volcano, The Messenger, The All-Knower, Mysterious Mother, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles and greatness. Okay, amazing. Let me put this here. So, lots of messages for you. First of all, I noticed at the beginning that there were a lot of fours and nines, or multiple fours and nines. So, we had the Emperor, the Four of Cups, the Mysterious Mother is Oracle card number four here, 14, so four in the All Knower, and then 49, four in the Volcano. For nines, we have the messenger, 19. We have nine in the messenger, nine in volcano, and the nine of swords here. Uh, and I said the four of cups, yeah? Okay, so, so, a couple things. I think that you have ancestry, you have inherited um, psychic abilities, and you may or may not be aware of this, but it's possible this this the the level of activation right now in your life with the intuitive messages you're seeing it's possible this is new for you and so you it may it may help you accept this more easily if you understand that you inherited this that it's a special gift and you have um ancestors or even perhaps living relatives now who have this gift and perhaps they can assist you, perhaps they can help you in teaching you their own experiences, you know, that's one thought. 
Um, the other thing about the ancestors or about these elder figures is that I do think you have an, at least one elder in your life that you are afraid of um, disappointing and you're really concerned of their approval. And um, perhaps they're very traditional, perhaps they're, they have traditional values, mindset, or traditional lifestyle that you just don't really jive with. And it's important to know that those differences don't need to, you know, the differences, you may, those differences may be smoothed over over time, but right now, instead of focusing on, on, on them and whether or not they're approving of you, it's more important to just focus on your path in life. Focus on what is going to give you joy, what is going to help you be fulfilled and and, and, you know, have meaning and purpose and passion in your life now. The messages that you're receiving are probably, they can be, maybe they're quite scary because I think with the volcano, you feel like you're on the precipice of something. Perhaps you feel like something huge is going to shift, um, something powerful. And, you know, perhaps you're worried about how to handle that. But... Again, with the breathing exercises, it's important to know that it's okay. It's okay to be a bit worried, but you don't need to, you can manage the level of overwhelm that you're feeling. So with the Four of Cups, there's this message here that, you know, by prioritizing your emotional and mental health, you can have boundaries around your psyche in a sense that help you stabilize and st stability and st stabilizing is definitely a big part of today's message with the four of cups the way i'm seeing the four of cups here is that you have you know you you take on other people's energy you sort of absorb it and that's just something that's natural to you it's something that's just always going to be a part of you but if you can really focus on your own cup and just focus on your heart center and how you deserve, you know, to be at peace. You deserve to be, um, feel safe and happy. Then you can release any of the feelings and negativity and concerns and fears that are not actually yours. They're not your fears. They're the fears of people who've been around you. So I do think it's important to carve out some kind of, um, routine or solitude for yourself where you can regularly check in with your emotions and you can purge and release the feelings that aren't actually yours even energies that are not, that are not actually yours you know so the breathing exercises and even like being aware of stimulation being aware of being overstimulated is key here um perhaps not watching certain things not watch you know not following certain news outlets not following certain Social media accounts could be key here. Um, and, and yeah, so I think, I think you have a chance right now to pursue a passion, to pursue, pursue your personal joy and your personal meaning. But it is going to mean um, uh, understanding that some people may dif differ from you and disagree with you, but that's okay. I see here with the Ten of Cups, a community that will form around you um, the more you pursue this vision, this passion of yours. And the, the less, the more detached, the less you, concerned you are with the disapproving elders or authority figures in your life. It could be a parent, it could be a father, um, but it could just be someone in your life that you really respect and admire and um you know you're just different you just have your own path to go down so it's 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 like you don't have to reject them and you don't have to be worried about them rejecting you it's just where your focus is that's the message here it's like to take your focus and put it on your own joy your own passion and let that propel you forward you know let your curiosity let your sense of adventure propel you forward rather than being inundated with fears and letting the fears sort of, you know, I see them nipping at your heels. It's like, don't let the um, background noise of fear and hysteria reach your 
mental space, like take the time and do the things that will ground you and will help you release those fears. Um, we, so as the last card, I pulled greatness here. And again, it's like you have a gift, you have your own abilities, um, but it's, you know, it, it, you may be overwhelmed by all the implications here. So I think the message here is that, you know, you can't, it, you're not meant to know everything now. You're just meant to go through this growth and this process. Um, it, perhaps it even means that there are, there are new elders or new role models who will help you undergo this transformation. I think that, you know, you should really be encouraged and um, I just want you to understand like you are safe and you are cared for. And you can trust that whatever you're going through, it is going to make a lot more sense with time. So it's okay to be a bit concerned now. It's okay to be a bit overwhelmed. But you have a tremendous gift that is coming to the surface. It's, it's you know, the timing. It's meant to, it's meant to come now. So... Be receptive, be accepting, be, um, I want to say even be forgiving, you know, don't be so hard on yourself, be compassionate towards yourself, um, and, and let the messages that you receive, you know, let them take shape for you, like, let those messages really sink in and guide you, um, they're powerful messages and they deserve that time and attention. And the less distracted you are with other stress in your life or, you know, maybe even relationships, like again, baggage, right? Make room. It's like release whatever is slowing you down in this process of nurturing your special intuitive gift, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, thank you, Pile 3, for joining. And I uh, hope to see you the next reading, okay? If this was helpful and relevant, Please click the like and subscribe buttons and let me know. Okay, take care, Pile 3.